I am John Five. I'm here with John Five. <laughs> Earworm. I love the new stuff. I love the new music. Invasion is just incredible. Quickly tell me, um, inside the box of rock, how putting together this collection with all the videos and sort of taking things, you know, into your own hands has been for you. You know, it's been wonderful. I have labels contacting me coming to shows oh please come to this you know and do this but i swear and i'm being honest i would i just don't want to do it that way i I love doing everything myself and it's so much better for me and i just you know i pay for the videos and i pay for the bus and the musicians and all that stuff but it is so much better to do it that way. I yeah. just love being self-contained. It's so important. And you're so happy. Like you can really feel that um, sense of creativity and freedom with you and your band, The Creatures. And of course, people know that you're going back out this summer with Zombie. So you've always been such an interesting person to me because I get so many um, like vibes from the music that you definitely had to have so many different influences and you've written so many styles of music and genres of music with people so i figured i'd get you in the songs that changed my life segment because pick three that were for you epiphanies and change the game for you where you said you know what this is what i want to do this is who i want to be actually that's a great question because i think the first one was on hee where it was at orange blossom highway and that's what made me want to play guitar i was like shocked and that was one of the you know epiphanies i had and i'd say number two was um i stole your love kiss because that was the very first like i was seven years old and i and I just put on that song. I think I put it on the wrong side, and I, and but I was like so shocked, and it really changed my life. Yeah, that was a B side. That was a B side. Yeah, and I was like, oh my god, this is incredible. And um, I think the third, I would say, going to California because my grandparents lived in California, and we would always go. And my sister lived in California, and I had this thing i just wanted to be a session guy and live in california and that was all i wanted to do and i would listen to that song so much and it it was on top of it being such an incredible song but it's yeah it's one of my favorite songs of all time and really uh changed i think the course of your life yeah it really did you're living there now you're doing everything there now you're playing with everyone there now how do you keep up that schedule too where when people say you know what steve perry wants to write with you um you know avril lavigne can you write something for her how, how does you know i mean you're always touring you're always busy you're always doing your own thing too yeah it's it's i think just being uh you have to make a schedule and stick to it and um being fans of all these artists too it makes it easier you know when they refer to a certain album or a certain song i'll know exactly what they're talking about so it's tough it is hard, but um, I love what I do. And I really think that is the meaning of life, is doing what you do. You love what you do, and you do it so well, and you're happy. And I think that is what is important, and it's the same thing with anybody else. I am John <laughs> Five. John Five, thank you so much. Thank you so much.